You are watching Uncredited, the Ricky Sorensen Leave It to Beaver story. There are uncredited actors in every TV show or movie. The ones you see here on the left are Stanley Farfara, Rusty Stevens, Jerry Weil, and Jerry Mathers. Then there's the uncredited actors on the right. There are a couple different reasons why an actor may go uncredited in a TV show. They may have no lines in the scene in which they appear, or they may only have one line. An uncredited actor may not always be anonymous. While they may not be seen when the credits roll at the end of an episode, they are often seen in an internet movie database listing for whatever episode in which they appear. In this screenshot from Internet Movie Database, you can see that they do list uncredited actors. Here, Jenny Lynn is listed even though she only had one line. Eventually, I hope to get Ricky Sorensen's name here listed also. All we have to do is make a correction and send it to Internet Movie Database. Over time, they may fix it, or they may not. It may take a few times of submitting this correction. But one day, we'll see his name here. I can almost guarantee you that. Everyone on TV shows gets a credit, right? You always have the actors, you've got the film editor, look here, the music supervisor, sound, assistant director Dolph Zimmer, a pretty well-known guy, one of Jerry Mather's favorite men on the set, uh, set director James S. Red. Uh, I bet you the guy who actually made the credits got credited for making the credits. By the time Ricky appeared on the Leave at the Beavers show in 1961, he had already made many TV shows and movies in Hollywood. Some of those you can see right here. Before we look at Ricky in action, let's um, look at the Internet Movie Database page for the Substitute Father episode. As you can see here, there's Ricky on the right, um, Sue Randall playing Miss Landers in the middle, and Jerry Mathers. They're in the thumbnail for the um, episode. So let's go ahead and look at Ricky right now in action. What'd you do that for, Arthur? Why don't you watch where you're walking, you clumsy creep? You know what you are, Arthur? You're a big dumb. <laughs> <laughs> <Be a> dumb. <laughs> Jerry didn't really say a bad word. After all, his mother was on the set. Ricky graduated from both Linwood High School and Cal State Long Beach in California. You might recognize the name Linwood as that was one of the fictional towns on Leave It to Beaver. Mayfield High played against them in sports. Ward and June even had friends in Linwood. Ricky had a long career in Hollywood, spanning over 20 years and performing in over 40 plus films and TV shows. Some of these included The Donna Reed Show, Gidget, Dr. Kildare, Mr. Novak, Airport 77, The Cat from Outer Space, The FBI, Please Don't Eat the Daisies, and he was a recurring character in Father of the Bride. He played the character of Tommy Banks, and that was in 1961-62, and he played in 34 episodes. That was his longest-running recurring role. He also played in Tarzan movies, one called Tarzan and the Trappers, and another one was Tarzan's Fight for Life. And he started his career, at least according to the Internet Movie Database, with an episode of My Friend Flicka. Ricky Sorensen may not have been given credit for his appearance on Leave it to Beaver back in 1961, but we're correcting that error here today. Thank you for watching. This has been a World Famous Beaverpedia production. The World Famous Beaverpedia is now available on Amazon or wherever you find great books.